Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Sifu, and welcome to Mass Effect 3. Let's play. So an artifact in Dr. Bryson's office is... Uh, title effect. Oh, okay, so I gotta go back to the office. Okay, cool. Oh, I can do that. Wait, where's the thing? What's that? Uh, I think you are officially further than me in Dark Souls. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, if I mean, I suppose if 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 Dark Souls takes this humongous tangent and go and becomes a becomes a sci-fi towards the end, I mean, maybe there's a slight chance of that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, other otherwise, I don't think so. <laughs> Yeah, once I and, and and once I uh once I get uh once I get done with uh, Mass Effect 3, once I, you know, finally get through all this game, I, I can uh probably concentrate a bit more on on Dark Souls, which uh which I'm really looking forward to. I uh I I still don't think I have a chance of winning that race, but uh I'm gonna try. <laughs> at least I can get uh, at least I can get some Little hints from you guys here and there, you know. Say, oh, okay, this is a strategy for this boss. Let's see, if, see if that works for me when I get to that boss. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll do my best to kill the uh, that uh, crystal mage, uh, a bitch, right at the <laughs> for the first try. <laughs> see if I can, see if I can beat her first try just to. Just rub it in a little. <laughs> we need to shield the artifact they've got here right away. Don't do what I do. <laughs> Using Garno's data, I should be able to accomplish this without difficulty. Damn thing's been here the whole time. Why weren't we affected? Perhaps Church. the amount of time spent near the artifact is key. After a certain duration, it affords Leviathan an impressive mind control capability. Ah, uh, but is Leviathan an ally? I'd call it dangerous as hell. Bryson's assistant tried to kill me. Perhaps Leviathan was controlling him to protect itself, diverting people away from its trail. Maybe. It just shows we don't know what we're dealing with yet. Despite the risk, this artifact remains our only link to finding Leviathan. Perhaps we could find more information about it here in the lab. Agreed. Bryson's team might have turned up something we missed. I'll look around. Okay, let's look around. Um, a jerk. <laughs> um, yeah, but in all likelihood, yeah, I don't see me beating that Crystal Mage first try. I just, I, I don't see that happening. <laughs> What's that? Energy emissions test. Artifact P3X119. Hadley Derrick. Initial test. Artifact test negative for infrared and ultraviolet emissions. No gamma or X-ray radiation detected. Follow-up tests. Artifact does not react to a, a application of various stimuli. Internal readings inconclusive. No progress in determining age. Uh... Guess I stayed here all night finding out that this thing isn't really important. Fell asleep at desk. Conclusion. After artifact is uh, definitely inert and safe, recommend uh, keeping it here for reference. We should all be near it. <laughs> May be more useful than Leviathan in long run. Recommend we abandon hunt for Leviathan and seek for more, more protective studies. Yeah. Yeah, he got... Yeah, he got he got brain controlled. That happened. We're testing the artifact for energy emissions. And found nothing. Still, I recommend leaving it shielded. Uh, which Mass Effect is this? This is the third one, and actually, the mission that we're on is one of the DLC missions called the uh, Leviathan. Um, yeah, the Leviathan from we 
seems to be this mysterious thing that is some kind of Reaper killer, so we want to try and find it. But the Leviathan seems to be, you know, kind of controlling people and, and shit. Anything interesting about the artifact structure? It is not constructed of the same compounds used in standard Reaper technology. Beyond that, nothing of relevance. Um, I was going to say, if um, if you've played Mass Effect 2 at all, um, uh, this is Edie now. Edie, Edie uh, I mean, she's still in the ship, but she can Porsche, uh, she can use like her vast, you know, her reach with her AI to control this uh, this fucking slamming robot. <laughs> uh, okay, so search lab for clues. What else we got for clues? Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything else. Oh, wait. Here's something I can interact with. Edie, what project was Garno working on when he found the artifact? Basilisk. Got anything on Basilisk? Several ships, a mythical creature, and a rare mid-tier enemy type in the Galaxy of Fantasy video game. It possesses a gaze attack capable of triggering synced animation kills. Player forms describe it as overpowered. I meant the project, <laughs> Edie. Oh. Then, no. There's got to be something here on this artifact. What about the server? Bryson's assistant wiped the office server and destroyed all backups, likely before killing Bryson. However, records show new messages on Bryson's personal comm terminal upstairs. Could be worth a look. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's do that. Okay, check messages. Let's see. Uh, analog audio. Dr. Bryson, per your request, I'm clearing Task Force Aurora for intercepted Batarian communications regarding the Leviathan of Dis. Commander, the Dreadnought is in custody, but the Solarians may have surveillance footage. Our ambassador will issue a full denial. Give me your preliminary analysis. Several million years old at least, and its technology outstrips anything on the Council. Excellent. Our scientists will work day and night to bring its secrets to the hegemony. One concern, Commander. The real Leviathan of Dis, the thing that destroyed the ship, is still out there. Unaccounted for. Irrelevant. The ship is our priority. And as far as the rest of the galaxy is concerned, there is no Leviathan of Dis. There never was. Hmm. What's that? Uh, yes, sir, I have played the first three Mass Effects. Oh, okay. Uh, I refuse to play Andromeda. Agreed. Um... Uh, so I got, uh, I gotta get back to work. I just wanted to say hi. Have a good night, bro. Cool, man. Thanks for stopping by, man. I really appreciate it. You, uh, you have a good one as well. Uh, oh, wait. Maybe there's more messages. A message from Dr. Bryson's daughter, Anne. According to my records, she worked with her father. Bryson was attempting to contact Garno on the asteroid colony. She seems to know something about the artifact. We need her. She's the only one who does. Wherever she is, we have to find her. She sounded concerned for her safety. If Reaper forces are closing on her position... Then we find her first. She said she was in the Pylos Nebula, working for Project Scarab. That cluster contains several systems. I'll call up the Nebula on the galaxy map. We may also search the lab for clues to narrow down her location. Okay, so we gotta find more clues. Okay. Leviathan, find... Find Anne Bryson. Can you identify this, Edie? Ooh. It originates with a pre-spaceflight culture, but there are none recorded in the Pylos Nebula. That is hieroglyphics of a... Or not hieroglyphics. Um, that's not the word I meant to use. Yeah. Yeah, like ancient wall paintings of something distinctly reaper-shaped. Reapers. 
Let's hope we find Anne before they do. Oh, anything else that I can... Oh. These are the ships Dr. Bryson and his team used? Yes. If we can find out which ship Anne Bryson took for Project Scarab, we may learn something. These are the ships Dr. Bryson and his team used? Yes. If we can find out oh, which ship... Oh, it's the same piece like... Oh, whoopsies. Okay. The locker is secure. We must locate an access card to open it. Okay, is there anything else at all that we can interact with? I think it's just the, the drawer, I think. Seems important. Access card for the requisitions locker? Yes. According to records, it was last used by Anne Bryson to obtain equipment for Project Scarab. All right, let's use it. Let's see what Anne Bryson requisitioned for Project Scarab. Well, what is all this? Wind protection gear. Didn't need an environmental suit. Based on what Anne Bryson did or did not requisition, the dig site was arid but habitable. Get me a filter for systems with compatible planets. Okay, and okay, I think that's it. All right, let's go with that. Oh, that's the only clue we got. Based on the search data, it is one of these two systems. Oh, all right, let's do it then. Was it um, say Nathan? Is it more convenient to respond to people on YouTube or Twitch? Um, it's not. Uh, I mean, for me, it's the same. Uh, it's really just more of, like, where the majority of people are, really. Um, so I guess it's... The convenience really is kind of dependent on... On... On the, the people in chat, really. For me, I get everybody. Um, in the... Hopefully not too distant future, when I get a more... When I get a more powerful computer, what I'd like to be able to do is I'd like to be able to do more overlays for streams, like even include face cam in streams. Um, and what would be extra cool about that is that maybe I'd have like a little little dialogue box in the corner or something that would, uh, that would you know, have the Twitch, uh, sorry, have the Twitch chat like on the game itself so that, you know, people can re read it regardless of what platform they're on. Yeah, that'd be cool. It'd be cool to do something like that. Was it, uh, that's that's what um, Captain Mintbeard does right now. Um, shout out shout out to Captain Mintbeard by the way, um, and the Game Pro Bros and Nathan Sample if he's still in stream. Shout out to all uh, to all them guys. Uh, whoops, wait a second. Uh, okay, no, we'll keep going. Actually, I did it again. I didn't. Oh no, no, I can, I can narrow it down with these guys. Okay, so it's not in Minos. Pylos Nebula, scan dig site. I don't think that's it either. Although I'm not getting anything else. Okay, maybe, maybe it is. Maybe it is. Okay, all right, let's give that a shot. Okay, and then I gotta go to the next one over to scan. Okay. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I'm actually starting to get just a little bit tired, but I don't I don't wanna end things yet. I wanna get uh, uh I, I wanna get through this whole mission. Nikami. Okay. Uh, oh sorry, no no wait, how do I say that? Namakli. Namakli? Namakli. I'll go with Namakli. Uh, Namakli, an arid but habitable planet. Uh, Namakli was briefly uh, uh, colonized uh, by Perina. You know what? This does not sound like a planet that he would have been on. But I'll scan it anyway.
because he would have needed an environmental suit, you know, wherever he was going, so it doesn't sound like this matches. Oh, he is! S scans of location... Oh, okay, cool! Found it! We have located Anne Bryson's dig site. Okay, cool. Uh, Alright, in that case, I'll keep reading the planet before I uh, before I land. Um, oh, excuse me. Uh, Namakli was uh, was briefly colonized by the uh, Perenia Corporation, a, co a consortium of Asari colonists and uh, socialized uh, Vorcha laborers. After an uh, economic run uh, downturn, however, many Asari left the planet, and the Vorcha population kept growing to the point where they bred faster than they could be educated. Oh no! Soon they turned violent and uncontrollable, and the colonies essentially self-destructed. You know, that actually sounds a lot like, um... Uh, there was a... There was a video I was watching that was part of the Down the Rabbit Hole series on YouTube. And it was this, uh... It, this guy in, you know, way back when, you know, way back, um... You know, a long time ago, he did this experiment that he, I think, just simply called Rat City. And it was supposed to be able to, you know, it, there sh it had a capacity that it could have held at least 5,000 rats so that they could have sustained themselves. Um, and they never made it to 200. They just imploded on themselves. It was chaos. Um, but it, apparently it's a very interesting experiment that... Uh, made him fearful for human society as well but uh yeah definitely look that up it, down the rabbit hole series rat city if you search for that you'll probably find it uh today namakli was is uh is a wasteland with little population but fortune packs are scattered across the desert settlers frequently run into these packs discouraging colonization the lack of complex biota and and scarcity of profitable metal uh, uh, metals drove the last few per, uh, proverbial nails into the Namakli's coffin. No one has stepped forth in uh, in the past few years with uh, the will, the funding, or the firepower to establish a permanent colony. It's forty one degrees Celsius, so it's hot as shit. That was fun, but I'll have to pause it there. If you enjoy my content and want to see more, do some of the stuff that the screen is telling you, and check out my other stuff. If you want to see me play live, check out the links in the description. Come talk to me, maybe even play with me. That is it for this episode, and I will see you in the next game.